You are, I am indeed big now. Very big indeed. Passed down by my people, the Sheikah. And your name would be? Sheik. How original and thoughtful of your parents, Derb. <laughs> I think people should remember this moment, or at least the people watching, because uh, after the event we're about to do, when we come back, uh, this is probably the time, like when everybody's confused, like, nope, not her, but some other people are like, oh my god, did anybody else see Zelda and Ganondorf running off? I think ever, I think it, like when we come back at that point, everyone will still be uh, confused and stuff. But, uh, we still need to do this event, so... Yeah, time to... Time to do the event which pretty much tears apart, like, 90 or 50% of all, uh, Zelda timeline theories. And makes it so damn difficult to predict. You know, I just now noticed how giant those things are. I mean, I swear they're just as they're, they are just as big as Mr. Link's head over here, or Mr. OMFG, as I self-proclaimed named him. So, with the Ocarina of Time, that song, and the three spiritual stones, we are able to open the door of time. And have a nice little magical jingle. Alright, time to do this. Ah, I sure love my name sometimes. It sure is. Maybe I should be told what it is. Yes, the Master Sword, of course. Oh, all of a sudden, speeding back. Alright, here we go, guys. Prepare for the moment of truth. I could probably put a He-Man uh, quote right there. By the power of Grey Skull. Yeah, excellent work by me. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. Nice prediction there. Giant forehead, giant ears, giant nose, Ganon Dork. I have to come up with a shorter name for him. You have led me to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. Ah, yeah, but nothing can compare to that laugh. That 64-bit laugh. Even though the 64-bit has nothing to do with audio. Wake up. Oh, my freaking god, the chosen one. Do-do-do-do-do. You know, you did see the feet of the person that's standing right in front of you. You could you could look at him instead. Oh, there we go. Yes, there he is. I am Raru. Raru Durr. Such a stupid name for an old person. One of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. All cool. 
This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. So many different chambers and gateways and stuff that makes this so confusing. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the Sacred Realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. A Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time. When I first read that, I thought he was saying that the sword itself was evil or possessed, but no, it actually destroys evil the second time I read that. Was the final key to the Sacred Realm. All right, the Sacred Realm, as we have all heard to, by the prophecy, contains the Triforce. Oh my freaking god, don't be alarmed, look at yourself. Sweet! Time to kill some baddies. I got some pretty awesome tights, too, you cannot deny. And that skirt, I am pimping Peter Pan right now. You are, I am indeed big now. Very big indeed. The Master Sword is a sacred blade which evil ones may never touch. Well, why would they want to touch it? Because it's cool looking? I don't know, it's another sword. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time can pull it from the pedestal of time. Apparently I'm that person. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Oh, there's an age requirement. Thanks for that. Now that's why we had to have time travel. And in case anybody didn't notice, yes, time travel is the thing that is destroying practically every single Zelda timeline theory known to date. And actually created the split timeline theory where people think that because of the time travel, there's one timeline where, Zelda, where Link defeats Ganon, and then there's another timeline where Link does not defeat Ganon because he's kind of dead, or not there. Or, yeah, because he's not there, because he went through time. I don't know. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. And now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the hero of time. I mean, it's a cool concept, but time travel is... The thing, it, it pretty much destroys any storyline in practically every story. I mean, once you include time travel, you are just fucking it up big time. Oh, you open the door of time in the name of peace, dur her, evil stuff happened. And of course, yeah, he got the Triforce. And now he's the king of evil. But there's a prophecy later on as to why he isn't, like, freaking god right now. And now he's transforming everything into monsters, and now I have to enter this area of evil and destroy all the evil things. As if this isn't like, uh, what's it called? The Link to the Past. I'm pretty sure that there's a really strong correlation there, except for the time travel part. Sages seals, okay. I, Raru, am one of the sages, and your power to fight together with the sages makes you the hero of time. I thought I, I thought it was just like I there was some inherent like special thing about me that made me the hero of time, not just my ability to fight with you guys. The hero of time chosen by the master sword. Durr. Let's just not talk about prophecies, okay? It's kind of boring. Keep my spirit with you and find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own. Alright, so instead of seven uh, dungeons, we have to go through six dungeons, and or six temples now, and save the six sages and get their power, and once we do that, we can take care of Ganon. But for now, we get this medallion, which does absolutely nothing except nothing. He adds his power to yours, which basically means nothing, like I said before. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. Alright, new problem. Except for the three hard part, that might be a little difficult. It shouldn't be... Uh, I don't know about this first temple, it shouldn't be that difficult. But I th think we'll live. I think we will. Alright, so we are here now. Seven years later. Shh, <laughs> love my name. Yes, they have, trust me. You'll notice once you step outside the temple, trust me. Looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Yeah, that's one of the cock-blocking things out of this. Uh, you lose a lot of what It's kind of like Metroid Prime, except not. Oh, hey, what's up? Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. When evil rules all, awakening voice from the second round will call those distant... Okay. Well, isn't this nice? We get some poetry, but yeah, this... Uh, what is it? The Sheik theme. I think uh, TH126, if, he, if people know him from my channel, really does enjoy this theme. One in a deep forest, one on a high mountain, one under a vast lake, which is basically what we've already done. The, like, the forest, mountain, and uh, lake, we've already been through all three of those, but these other two are different. One within the house of the dead, oh my god, I hate it. Out of all the temples, I hate that so much. I don't care about the water temple, okay? You faggots can complain about that all you want. Shadow temple? Go fuck yourself. And one inside a goddess of the sand. Love that temple. That temple's pretty cool. Together with the hero of time, the awakened ones will bind the evil and return the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. And your name would be... Sheik. How original and thoughtful of your parents, Derb. Sheik, survivor of the Sheikahs. Wow, wow, great. As I see you standing there holding the mythical Master Sword, you really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you have no choice. You must look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. Loka. One sage is waiting for the time of awakening in the forest temple. The sage is a girl, I am sure you know. Yes, yes. Saria. Yeah. Because of the evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Also, how did you know this? I would like to ask. Well, actually, there's a, a perfectly good reason, but the people that don't know would probably ask that. How do you know? Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. Well, that's kind of how most temples work. You don't have an item, you get the item through some random quest. You go in the temple, you get another item, and everything works out like that. It's just a sequence of items that allow you access to different areas. But if you believe what I'm saying, you should head to Kakariku Village. Do you understand? Yes, I do. Alright. Cool stuff. So basically what he's going to do is he's going to protect that pedestal because uh, if you put the... I'll go ahead and spoil it. If you put the sword back in the pedestal all the time, you go back to being a kid. So that in turn creates the time travel portion where you can go back as a child and do certain things that you learned uh, as an adult. But yeah, that's, that's it for me. And also, I did not make the obvious, oh, L Link was asleep for seven years while Rauru was uh, watching over him. What do you think Rauru did while he was asleep? All right, I'm not going to make that joke. It's very obvious. Even Guitar Master X7 in, like, God damn it, I'm forgetting the Machinima series. But that series, I'll probably put, like, a link, uh, annotation or some kind of text box somewhere saying what it is. But even in that machinima, Dexter Boy uh, and Guitar Master X7 made that joke. So, I mean, seriously, it's a well-known joke, and we're not gonna we're not gonna just overuse it, okay? So I'm going to save, and uh, I'm going to get a drink of water because holy shit, I talked way too much, and my throat is going to die now. All right, so that's it for me, guys, and. Until next time, which hopefully will not be, like, seven months. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.